everyone. I hope that this video finds you well and that you are having a terrific, terrific Monday. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to have you joining us. If you like luxury, lifestyle, planning and organization, skincare, product reviews, tech, basically, if you like anything, you will find something on this channel for you. So please click subscribe and support the channel. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram. I will make sure to include my handle in the description box as well as put it on the screen right about here. Many of you requested that I show you how I use my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM as a travel journal and passport keeper. And I did that quick walkthrough in my vlog right before we left for France. I will make sure to leave that link down below as well as all of our vlogs from France to share with you. I also had many requests though to walk through my Agenda PM after the trip was over. So that's what I'm doing today. So let's go ahead and dive in. When I am at the airport and on those days where I'm not really walking around a destination, I use this as my traveling wallet. So I put all my important cards and then tuck any boarding pass or travel documents I may need right in this secretary pocket. Then I use two top Filofax envelopes that fit inside the PM. I believe it is the personal size or pocket size, perhaps. I will link the ones that I purchased down below. And what I use these for is to tuck little tokens from our trip that I want to keep and then transfer into like either a keepsake box or a scrapbook. And these have gotten filled up with some goodies from the trip. So I just tuck this journaling card that says snapshot in there. But then I also picked up this little tag from La Durie, which is a wonderful bakery in Paris, really great macaroons. And then in the back of it, I have a picture from dinner one night that I printed off my Instagram, a ticket from the train we took from Versailles to Paris, along with our ticket to the Louvre, which has a beautiful painting on it. And then in the second envelope from Filofax, I have my pass to Versailles, a Louis Vuitton card that I was given by one of the sales associates there, a boarding pass, another picture of our hotel, another ticket stub, this awesome picture of some macaroons that Steven took a picture of, and then this ribbon, I bought a jumbo macaroon, and this was actually tied to the box around the macaroons, and I just snipped it off and tucked in part of it just to kind of remember. So I use those envelopes just to hold any tokens from the trip. Now, when we get into each day's setup, I told you that I use my Instax Fujifilm camera, and I always take two pictures every day, and that is what I used to do before Instagram. But what I found is that the pictures that I wanted to remember the most or highlight the day with were on my Instagram. So I ended up printing them out, and in the future, I'm going to use a company that prints them on really high-quality photo paper. But for the sake of this, I just printed them out on regular paper. On day one, I still use my Instax camera, but I just found that the photos I really wanted to use to highlight in this were from my Instagram, but I just never was really an Instagram user until this trip. So for day one, I just have a picture of the entry of our hotel room, and then this picture, I just love the contrast of the black and white tiling, and this was on the bathroom floor of our hotel room. And then I highlighted for the day, morning, afternoon, evening, what the weather was like and what my favorite meal was. So for day one, I can always look back and say, hey, we spent most of the day traveling, the flight was smooth. In the afternoon, we walked around the village of Versailles. In the evening, we had a beautiful dinner at Versailles and that it was overcast and chilly, um, but the rain held off and that we ate my favorite meal at the La Veranda. So it's just a quick quick jot down of the day because I truly don't want to spend my time journaling every single day of the trip. I really just want to bullet out some key things from the day. Then I always include a best moments page. So for this one, it is about a conversation that Steven and I had, just a really great conversation about our life as a couple and making more experiences and taking our time and slowing down. And it was a really great conversation that I sometimes feel that in the bustle and hustle of every day that we don't always get to have. On day two, we visited the Louvre. So I took some pictures off my Instagram. I was really struck by the blues from this Egyptian sculpture that was on exhibit, and then a picture that Steven took that is absolutely beautiful of the Venus de Mayo, and then of my favorite meal. And I also just add a little writing around 
um, using either white pens or gold gel pens. And then once again, I followed the same thing. I talk about like what Stephen and I did in the morning, the afternoon, evening, what the weather was like, and what my favorite meal was, which was this one. And as we go through the days, I continue to highlight what my best moment was. This one was really short and simple. It was seeing the Mona Lisa. It was quite smaller than I expected, but still packed a large impact. Then I have some pictures of us visiting Versailles for day three, and I just wrote enormity and regal. That's what really resonated with me. Just the sheer size of everything was so overwhelming. Um, and then I have this picture of a little shopping trip and that little Louis Vuitton gift right there is for one of you and I cannot wait and it was absolutely a highlight of my day to have such awesome subscribers and such awesome people in my life that I could buy this for and give it to one of you and I cannot wait to do so. Once again, the same thing, filled out the day, then filled out my best moments and I talked about just how humbling this whole trip has been. Um, I really feel like we've traveled a lot of places, but there's something specific about this journey, whether it's the regalness of the spaces that we were in, just the sheer size of them all, and thinking about how much went in to build them. Um, I just really felt moved by this whole experience, and I think a large portion of that was being able to share it all with you. So often I share these trips with Stephen, but I felt like I had a whole other family with me on this trip, and it's just looking through that lens and sharing those moments with you just, it made it really special, and I think probably the most special trip I've been on. Day four, this is one of my favorite photos of me eating my favorite pistachio macaroon, visiting a cathedral in a small village called Chartres, and then truly the best cup of coffee I have ever had. And then on day four, I talked about that we really quickly jumped in the car, we got to Chartres, the cathedral we visited was over a thousand year old, there's no words to explain how quiet and peaceful I felt. Um, it was very windy that day, so I made sure to document that. And then my best moment for that day, if you watch my travel vlogs, like I said, I'll link them down below. But in the quiet of that cathedral, I lit a candle for my grandma, and there was such a feeling of peace. And I've decided everywhere I travel that we will find a cathedral, and I will light a candle in honor of her so that we kind of leave her light everywhere because she was definitely a person that was full of light and love. And that's going to be her and I tradition moving forward. Then day five, I have the last view out of our window of our hotel that overlooked the pastures and sheep farms of Versailles. And lastly, a picture of us arriving back in the United States along with all the goodies that I bought. And I just filmed and uploaded a France haul yesterday, so you can check that out as well on my channel. And then lastly, day five, I talk about how we traveled into Toronto, the flight was great. The weather, it finally was sunny. My best meal that day was a breakfast. We ate at a small cafe um, in Versailles. It was the best scrambled eggs I've ever eaten. And then the best moment was getting home and seeing Bubba's. And that is it. That's what this journal looks like now that the trip is over. I hope that you enjoyed seeing it in its completion. I hope that you want to steal this idea and use it as well. It is a great way to keep the memories of a trip. I will then be transferring this into a different pocket size agenda that has all my other travel logs and that collection will continue to grow. Like I said, if you like this video, please click subscribe and I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Until next time, bye-bye.